people trust their governments. They, they whine and complain, but I think for a long time, people have kind of put a blind faith in governments doing the right thing. Whether you're liberal or conservative or NDP or green or whoever you're voting for, whoever gets into office, you have a general sense of, um, I think, of trust that at the end of the day, they're really going to be looking out for our best interests, and they haven't been. And what is required to make the changes that we need to see is a massive shift in the vision of our government. And we need visionary leaders in government to take us to these new places we need to go. And as much as I hate to say it's going to take 10 years before we start to see changes, I also am trying to be very realistic and not... I, I, we need to see the changes yesterday, 10 years ago, not 10 years from now, but realistically, changing our political system and changing the governments that we elect isn't going to happen tomorrow. And unless people can take it up and take the responsibility upon themselves, which we also really need to do, and it, which is why every single person needs to look at how they live their lives every day and make a shift. And corporations need to look the CEO of a company that is creating pollution in an area or contributing to global warming or social destruction needs to look in the mirror in the morning and say, what am I doing? How can I, how can I continue doing this? We need to make changes. And there are leaders in corporations in Canada and all over the world that are doing that and that are making massive shifts in the way that they do business. Unfortunately, I believe government, the way that it is now, is going to be the last group of people to catch on and say, well, look at the conservative government. Wait, wait a minute, we are green. We forgot to tell you. We believe in this stuff. <laughs> Vote for us. That's the, you know. So the governments are the last people typically to catch on unless you put really good visionary people that have the willpower and the strength and the vision and the determination and the energy to change the system from business as usual to something that is going to take us into the next 20 or 30 or 40 years and allow us to maintain a decent quality of life. Because if we keep going down this track in 20 years, the world is going to be in ugly place with people fighting for oil and water and food and it's not going to be pretty.